Hi, I'm Anish from India. This lesson is for week 4 of introduction to music production at Coursera. Today I would be demonstrating corrective and creative use of dynamic processes. I have my tracks uh, laid out here. I have a drum cover along with a bass guitar in a groove and a little bit of synth elements. As you can see the track is a uh, little dull and uh, um, the dynamic range is uh, high. I want to add a compressor in my drum track. This is my compressor plugin in Logic. You can see the various settings over here. This is my transfer function and uh, threshold settings for the compressor. Now listen to the track now again. Now you can see the drum track is brightened up. You can hear more details like uh, hi-hats and uh, the dynamic range is reduced. I want to add uh, uh, my compressor plug into my bass. This is a dry bass, a little bit dull. Now this is after adding the compressor. You could see the prominence of knots over here and the dynamic range is decreased. Now listen to the combined track. Now you can see the entire track is brightened up. Even the minor details are visible now. Now for, I want to add a synth. This particular synth. In a kind of creative way. Now uh, my synth element I would like to get it groove with uh, my drum and bass guitar uh, in a kind of creative way. I open two compressors. The first one I sidechain it with my bass guitar and uh, now, now you can listen. My synth element is getting ducked by the bass guitar knots in a groovy way. The second compressor I sidechain it with my drum track. Now the combined effect of uh, this ducking, you can uh, listen here. My drum and bass guitar uh, kind of tow the synth element in a groovy way. And for this demonstration, I have used a compressor plugin in my Logic Pro 9 to demonstrate to you the corrective and creative use of a dynamic processor. Thank you very much for listening this video.